I'm here with the 2020 Kia Telluride. I'm going to tell you everything you want to know about this vehicle. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Blinker Fluid TV. First of all, I've been excited to drive this for a while. This came out this year. This is Kia's answer to a bigger vehicle. They've had the Sorento for a while, and I've driven Sorentos before. It's a great vehicle, but not a lot of room behind that third row. Yes, you can have third row, three rows. Technically, there's no cargo space back there. This is their answer to that. This is the competitor to the Honda Pilot, the GMC Acadia, and some of the other vehicles out there in this segment. Let me show you what I like about this. Personally, I actually really like the name Telluride. When you look at this vehicle, when I think Telluride, I think of, I love to snowboard, right? I'm into sports, adventure sports. I think of the ski resort. I think, man, I'm gonna take this to the ski resort. I'm heading up there, I'm gonna go take my family up for the weekend. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So I think of Telluride, the ski resort. This, I believe, is a great vehicle to take your family for that long trip. Take them up to the mountains. It has a lot of capability. We're gonna find out more about that. Look at the wheels. Great size wheels here. I just love the look of this vehicle. It really is beautiful. Let's take a look inside and see what this is all about. Look at these seats. Really nice seats. Not cloth, that's important. I've got kids, you guys have kids. You don't wanna have cloth seats. These are really nice. They're gonna clean up nice for spills. Got the nice infotainment system here. Everything you need to know there. All right, let's take a look back here. Opening up, let's check out the second row. One of the things that's really nice about this vehicle and definitely an advantage of some of the older vehicles that I've owned in the past, where I can just push a button that slides forward Easy access for the kids. Lot, very easy to get back there for the kids. And you just slide it right back in place. Definitely a lot of room for three people here if you've got the bench. But they also have the option with the captain's chairs. So that's a great selling feature is where you can choose what's best for your family. How many do you need to seat? This can seat up to eight, of course, with the bench. If you do the captain's chairs up to seven people. So I think it depends a lot about how many people you're going to be having in this vehicle. So I really like that great feature let's walk around to the back here let me open it up here press the button lift gates gonna come up let me show you the, some of the things back here all right I want to flip the seats down very easy push that down oh, got something in the way here now I'm gonna push that second row down I don't have to go up there I just press a button, it flips forward. Same thing for the other side. Now you've got kids, they like their iPads, they like their electronics. How are they gonna use the electronics without sucking all the battery? Guess what? USB ports right here and one on the other side. Same thing, there's also USB ports up on the second row as well. Everybody has power for the electronics on that long trip. And we know you have a lot of kids, I've got four. You take them on a long trip, you got to keep them occupied. They might be reading for a while, but there's only so long they're going to do that. They're going to need to watch their iPad, watch their movies, play their video games, right? So I like that. Press a button, lift gate comes back down. So closing the lift gate here, one thing I forgot to mention was the trim level that we are featuring today. It's the EX, of course, with your V6 engine. This has a 3.8 liter V6 engine capable of 291 horsepower or 260 pound-feet of torque. That's really good. Zero to 60 time, 7.2 seconds. 
not the greatest, but not bad. It's got, we're gonna take it for a test drive and see how that, how that works. As I get in the vehicle, first impressions of this. Again, we already talked about the seats, very nice. Definitely, there's plastic here, but it's, it's nice. I'll tell you what I do like. I like this look of the, the wood looking trim. It's not real wood, but it looks good. It's got a classy look to it. I like the color. Uh, again, you got your infotainment system. All your buttons you need here for cruise control, your volume, uh, Bluetooth, different modes for audio. Everything you need is right here within reach. Of course, the wife loves this, especially in the winter. We live, I live here in Utah. And it's actually cold right now. We just had a snowstorm. Heated seats, heated and ventilated seats, and also for the second row. So you can't beat that. Your buttons here to change between your navigation, your radio, your media, everything you need here. I do like the look out of the the layout of this is very good. It's it's easy. Not everything is in one infotainment system. I know a lot of vehicles are going that way. Kia may go that way one day. But for now, a lot of the controls are still separate and a lot of people, including myself, like that where you can still control the radio with a knob. You still have buttons for your navigation and everything you need to come to, but of course pops up here on, on the infotainment system and we'll see that in a minute when we take this for a drive. So far, without taking it for a drive, impressed, it's comfortable, I like it. Oh, one other thing I noticed, wireless charging. I can put my cell phone right here and charge it wirelessly right there. So some great things in this vehicle. Of course, your cubby space right there. Everybody needs cup holders. You've got cup holders here, two back here, more cup holders in the second row. Let's turn it on, push button start. Let's go take it for a drive. Okay, we're going for a ride in the Kia 2020 Kia Telluride. Of course, just introduced this year. Uh, first impressions driving away, very comfortable ride, very smooth, quiet cabin, do not feel the bumps in the road, uh, no road, no road noise. Some of the nice things about this vehicle, the navigation up here starts as a small screen, you expand it out to a big screen. One of the things I liked about it, so everything you need is here. You've got your radio stations you can change here. Of course, you can control your navigation. You can go back to home. There's a lot of options here on the home menu. One of the things that I liked, driver talk. This is one of the nicest features of this vehicle. And this option right here is this driver talk. So if I'm talking, I hit talk now, I can talk and you can hear me in the back seat. How wonderful is that? That is just amazing. This is definitely a feature I think I can see my wife and my family really liking is that option because sometimes you got a lot of kids in the back seat and they clear in the back, right? You've got three rows, you got seven or eight people in here. It's a little busy. Especially you're on the road, a little bit of road noise. Not, not too much in this vehicle, but there's a little bit of road noise. You need to be able to talk to the back. And so if I press that, I can easily talk to the person in the back seat. Tell them what's going on. I do like that. Some other nice things about this vehicle. I've got a knob here for different settings. You've got a comfort. You've got sport, smart mode. Now smart, what that does is just select the best mode to drive in. You've got eco, and then I live here in Utah, actually just finished a snowstorm, five day snowstorm here. You've got snow mode. So very nice. One of the other things that's interesting, and we'll find out here in a second when I come to a stop, but when I come to a stop, this vehicle has an auto off function. So it'll turn off and that helps conserve gas. Uh, this vehicle, speaking of, you know, pretty good size engine, 3.8 liter V6, it's gonna use some fuel 
but one of the things it does, of course, has that auto off function. And the gas mileage is pretty good in this. 19 on the city, in city, 24 highway with the all-wheel drive version. Great layout, I like the instrument cluster here. Again, you've got all your knobs here for your audio. You can control, you can control the rear uh, climate control here. One of the things you can do as well is when you're controlling the, the, the rear, you can actually lock it. So you can lock the rear climate control from here so that kids in the back see right here, lock controls. So I can play with it up here. I can control the temperature up here, but the kids back in the back are not fiddling with all the controls for the whole family. So that's pretty nice, especially if you've got young kids, you know how they like to press a lot of buttons. Again, I'm driving this very comfortable. It's a very comfortable ride. The seats are comfortable and fit well. Um, you sit high, so you get to see well. And the seats, again, seven or even up to eight people, depending on the configuration, whether you've got the cabin seats would seat seven. If you've got the full bench in the second row, then this can seat eight people. It's got smart, well, what I call adaptive cruise control. They call it smart control, or I can't remember what they call it, but uh, a lot of great things in this vehicle. Good fuel economy, again, very comfortable ride. Very smooth. I'm kind of on a little bit of a bumpy road right now. And I can hear a little bit of the of the the ruts in the road, but you don't you don't feel them. And one of the things, and I don't have it to test here, but one of the nice things is you go over a, sp a speed bump. It has a great suspension, so when I go over that bump, you don't really feel it too bad. Is where I have in other vehicles that when you go over a good speed bump, man, you feel the whole speed bump. Everybody, all the way in the back, everybody in the front, you go over, you really feel it. This, this has a very nice ride where you don't feel it like that. Of course, you've got the dual climate control. You can hit sync and both can be on the same or you can uh, untap, untap that and your passenger can control their, their climate control. You've got the smart stop. If you got the heated seats or the ventilated seats, definitely nice depending on what time of year. Passenger has them as well, and then of course some options, you've got it in the second row as well. You can control your differential in the rear. You can control the auto off function that I talked about before. It turns the vehicle off when it comes to a stop. You can turn that off. Your parking brake is here, push button. There's a lot of great things in this vehicle. Honestly, of course it's not fully loaded this is not a hundred thousand dollar vehicle or seventy thousand dollar vehicle with every feature you can think of but for what you get for let's say this version is i believe around forty two thousand ex you get a lot in this vehicle this is a great value for a vehicle kia has come a long ways in their in what they've done with their vehicles. They haven't always been known for great quality, let's be honest. Kia, even 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I've written in a bunch of Kias. I've known people that own Kias, and although they were affordable and a great, a great deal as far as price, they didn't love them in the sense that the, obviously, you know, you get what you pay for. When you spend less on a vehicle, it's not going to have all the creature comforts. They also just weren't extremely reliable. I've got the heated seats on right now and I can feel it. But like I said, Kia's come a long ways. They've brought on engineers from Audi, BMW, and other manufacturers who couldn't, couldn't innovate the way they wanted to with those companies. The this is what the salesperson was telling us was that Kia that BMW would not allow their engineers 
to experiment and kind of do some different innovations, some different things with their vehicles that they wanted to. Kia brought them on and said, yes, innovate, see what you can do. We want to be cutting edge. We want to do some things that are different. Kia is not known for. And to be honest, driving this, I can tell. The craftsmanship is excellent. Uh, again, nice, nice look here with, with the wood look trim. They've done a great job. I can feel the, the, the heated seats right now. And honestly, on this cold day, it feels good. They've done some wonderful things here with this vehicle. And if you have a family of three kids, four kids, you need some room, you need something bigger than a Kia Sorento or similar size vehicle that yes, technically you can fit three rows in there, but you don't have any cargo space behind that you need a Kia Telluride. I've driven a lot of other vehicles. This is a great vehicle. I strongly consider you think about the Kia Telluride as an option. There, the vehicle just turned off as I stopped to conserve battery, to conserve. This is a great option for people that are looking for a great vehicle for their family of four, five, you have all the creature comforts you need to travel. You have the room that you need to, to carry your luggage on your trip. Of course, put a roof rack on top if you need additional cargo capacity, but a lot of great cargo capacity in the back. This is a longer wheelbase than long. This is a longer vehicle than the Sorento about not quite eight inches longer. So you've got all the extra capacity. If you sit in the back seats, You've got extra room back there as well. There's some great leg room back, back there. This is a great vehicle. I strongly would consider this as a vehicle for a, a great midsize SUV. Can tow up to 5,000 pounds, so you can tow, tow a trailer. Uh, of course, not a, a really big, big trailer, but you, could, you can tow some things with this. And I really can't really pick anything wrong without doing an extended test drive in this vehicle. I personally can't really pick anything wrong, especially in that price range of about forty to forty-four thousand. I know top top level you can get about fifty thousand with all the uh, the top level trim and and all the extra accessories. You can get about fifty thousand for fifty thousand. This is a this is a great value, great deal, and I definitely think you should consider that. Thanks for your time. Subscribe to Blink Fluid TV. Check us out. We're going to be doing a lot of other videos like this, comparing other vehicles. Check us out. Follow us. Thank you.